with settlements, with soldiers and military all the time. It's our food. It's our work. It's our land. After they, they built this wall and closed people in, so the Palestinians now uh, are, that were gravitating toward Jerusalem, they are now stuck with nowhere to turn to. We used to send at least 4,000 tons of olive oil to Gaza. Now we can't send a gram. The Israeli prevent us completely from exporting or importing anything from Gaza. We started our cooperative at the end of 2005 uh, as a group of women um, doing handmade embroidery. The idea from the project is to, uh, to be independent. What we are doing here in the community is uh, traditional handcrafts with a new approach uh, that it will give us a voice to go out to the world. We are searching for any way to help our poor farmers and their families. The Israeli prevent both of us from being in contact to move our products from the West Bank or from this. With the women in Hebron, we have 150 women. They all do embroidery. So if we keep all this embroidery in the center and in the shop, we can't pay the women their money back as their salaries because we need saving. If we want to sail outside the country, it's difficult, not easy. For me, it's very, very important to open between the borders between Gaza and the West Bank. We want Gaza back with Palestine. Now it's like different states. The West Bank and Gaza, we want to be one Palestine. We are coming with the peaceful gesture towards the world community to make them aware or to make them learn that there are people today who, who cannot move around freely. We should basically uh, reach across the borders, over the wall, and, uh, and uh, give our hand in hand together. Maybe people will become like interested in, in who did this and who are these women, who are these people who did such a beautiful work.